a highly anticipated arrival. The remains of Congolese independence hero Patrice Emery Lumumba are back in the DRC capital, Kinshasa. Congolese soldiers march in honor of Lumumba's only remains, a tooth that was recently handed back to his family by Belgium. The DRC president, government officials, and traditional leaders were at the airport to pay tribute to the former premier. He was uh, the one who was uh, the, uh, the first who uh, uh, speak about openly about uh, what uh, the colonial treatment was going on, his praise, his feeling that we are treating like animals, like, uh, and this is cause his death. Patrice Lumumba was a strong advocate for the independence of his country and other African colonies. He became DRC's first prime minister at the age of 34, but he got assassinated in 1961 by separatists and Belgian mercenaries. Many Congolese are excited about the return of his remains. We are very happy to see that Patrice Emery Lumumba's remains have been brought back home after so many years. His assassination caused us so much grief. We are happy that our hero's remains are back after so many years. Lumumba was killed around the time I was born and I learned about his great achievements. Lumumba's remains are back in Kinshasa from his ancestral home in Sankuru and the southeastern region where he was assassinated. Earlier this month, the Belgian king visited the DRC and expressed regret for the colonial era abuses committed by his ancestors. Many Congolese hailed King Philip's speech but called on Belgium to compensate Lumumba's family and the relatives of other victims. The DRC government has announced three days of mourning for Patrice Lumumba before his burial on June 30th, when the country will mark its 62nd independence anniversary. Chris Ochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.